Imagine a world where the ordinary is just the surface of existence. This is the lived reality for those who are spiritually gifted. However, despite this, many individuals live their entire lives without realizing that they are spiritually gifted. You must avoid this at all costs. In order to do so, learn to recognize the signs so that you can realize what you are truly capable of. You see, there are eight strange things that are experienced by spiritually gifted individuals, the first one being vivid dreams and visions. Let me ask you this, have you ever woken up from a dream that felt more real than reality itself? A dream so vivid and profound that it seemed to carry a message from beyond? For those who are spiritually attuned, dreams are not mere nighttime fantasies. They are potent, symbolic narratives filled with insights, warnings, and sometimes premonitions. One of the most notable figures in history who experienced vivid dreams and visions was Joseph, the son of Jacob from the Bible. Joseph's story begins with his remarkable ability to interpret dreams. As a young man, he had two significant dreams of his own, both of which seemed to carry a message from beyond. In the first dream, he saw himself and his brothers binding sheaves in a field, and suddenly his sheaf stood upright while his brother's sheaves bowed down to it. In the second dream, he saw the sun, the moon, and eleven stars bowing down to him. These dreams filled Joseph with a sense of purpose and destiny, but they also earned him the jealousy and resentment of his brothers. They couldn't bear the thought of Joseph ruling over them, so they plotted to get rid of him. They sold him into slavery, and Joseph's life took a series of twists and turns that no one could have predicted. During his time in Egypt as a slave, Joseph's life took another unexpected turn. He found himself in prison, but even there, he continued to interpret dreams. His ability came to the attention of Pharaoh, the ruler of Egypt, who had been troubled by a series of puzzling dreams. Joseph's interpretation of Pharaoh's dreams, involving seven fat cows and seven lean cows, predicted seven years of plenty, followed by seven years of famine. Impressed by Joseph's wisdom and insight, Pharaoh appointed him as the second in command of all of Egypt, making him responsible for preparing for the impending famine. Joseph's dreams had not only shaped his own life, but had also played a crucial role in the fate of Egypt and the surrounding nations. His story teaches us that dreams, when properly understood and heeded, can offer profound insights and guidance. In the end, Joseph's brothers, who had once sold him into slavery, came to Egypt seeking food during the famine. They didn't recognize him, but Joseph recognized them. Instead of seeking revenge, he forgave his brothers and embraced them. But you don't need to be a historical figure to experience vivid dreams. Today, many report dreams that feel like journeys into another dimension. These are not random. They are the whispers of a deeper consciousness, guiding, advising, and sometimes forewarning. In these dreams, every element is significant. A roaring ocean might symbolize emotional turmoil. A soaring eagle could represent freedom or a higher perspective. Learning this language, the language of symbols, is like deciphering an ancient sacred script. It's a path to understanding not just the dream but oneself on a profound level. Imagine closing your eyes at night and stepping into a world where time bends, where the past, present and future merge. This is the experience of those with vivid dreams and visions. They travel in their sleep, exploring realms and gaining insights that shape their waking lives. These experiences are not random. They are messages, lessons to be learned, puzzles to be solved. And for the spiritually gifted, they are a reminder that there is so much more to existence than what meets the eye. Understanding these dreams is not always easy. It requires patience, introspection, and often guidance from those who have walked this path before. It's like learning a new language, one that speaks in metaphors and symbols. But for those who are willing to listen, the rewards are immeasurable. For those with this gift, the line between dreaming and waking life begins to blur. They carry the wisdom of their dreams into the daylight, using it to guide their decisions, understand their emotions, and connect with others on a deeper level. It's as if they have a secret advisor, whispering insights that others cannot hear. If you've experienced these profound dreams and visions, know that you are not alone. 
Across cultures and throughout history, there are countless accounts of individuals who have been blessed with this gift. They are the visionaries, the prophets, the dreamers who see beyond the veil of the mundane world. The second strange experience is arguably even more powerful than the previously discussed dreams, a heightening of your intuition. Have you ever felt a sudden, unexplainable knowing, a gut feeling that guides you towards the right path or away from danger? This is the realm of heightened intuition, a mysterious and powerful ability that spiritually gifted individuals possess. It's like having an internal compass that points you towards truth, often bypassing the need for logical reasoning. Intuition is often described as a quiet whisper, a subtle nudge that's easy to overlook in the noise of everyday life. But for those who are spiritually attuned, this whisper can be as clear and compelling as a shout. It comes as sudden insights, a feeling in the pit of the stomach, or a persistent thought that won't go away. Consider the stories of great inventors and thinkers who credited their breakthroughs to intuitive insights. Like a flash of lightning, solutions to complex problems came to them out of nowhere. These moments are not mere coincidences, they are the workings of an intuitive mind attuned to a higher frequency. For the spiritually gifted, intuition is not just a vague feeling, it's a reliable source of guidance. They find themselves making decisions that turn out to be precisely what was needed, even when they couldn't explain why they made those choices at the time. It's as if they have access to a wisdom that goes beyond the limits of their conscious mind. Heightened intuition is often seen as a sign of a deep connection with the universe. It's as if these individuals can tap into a cosmic network of information, receiving guidance and insights from a source that is not limited by time or space. One philosopher who delved deeply into the realm of intuition and its profound implications for human understanding was Immanuel Kant. Kant, an 18th century German philosopher, made significant contributions to epistemology, metaphysics and ethics. His work laid the groundwork for modern philosophy and his exploration of intuition had a profound impact on how we understand knowledge and perception. Kant was particularly interested in distinguishing between two types of intuition, sensible intuition and intellectual intuition. Sensible intuition relates to our perception of the physical world, the sensory experiences we have through our senses like sight, touch and taste. However, Kant believed that there was another form of intuition, intellectual intuition, which he saw as a higher and more profound faculty. According to Kant, Intellectual intuition was the ability to perceive abstract, non-sensory truths directly. He argued that this form of intuition allowed us to access fundamental principles of reason and morality without relying on empirical evidence or sensory experiences. For Kant, intellectual intuition was closely linked to his idea of a priori knowledge, which is knowledge that is independent of experience and can be known through pure reason alone. One of the biggest challenges for those with heightened intuition is learning to trust this gift. In a world that values logic and evidence, relying on something as intangible as intuition can be daunting. But for those who dare to trust, the rewards are immense. It leads to a life that is not only more in sync with the universe, but also more fulfilling and authentic. Developing and trusting your intuition is a journey of self-discovery. It requires mindfulness, the ability to quiet the mind and listen to the subtle signals of your body and spirit. It's a path that leads to greater self-awareness and a deeper understanding of the world around you. The third experience is more subtle and usually goes unnoticed. This experience is often described as a feeling of intense empathy. Unlike the conventional understanding of empathy, this experience transcends mere emotional understanding. It's a profound connection to the hearts and souls of others. Imagine walking into a room and instantly sensing the mood, feeling the joys and sorrows of those around you as if they were your own. This is the daily reality for those with intense empathy. It's like having an invisible antenna picking up the emotional frequencies of people, even those not verbally expressed. Carrying the emotions of others can be both a blessing and a burden. 
On one hand, it allows for deep, meaningful connections and an ability to comfort and understand people on a level few can. On the other, it can be overwhelming, like a flood of feelings that are hard to distinguish from one's own. Learning to navigate this emotional landscape is crucial. It involves setting boundaries, understanding one's own emotions, and finding ways to shield oneself from the emotional overload. It's a delicate balance between connecting deeply and maintaining one's emotional well-being. One of the most famous parables that beautifully illustrates the concept of intense empathy is the Good Samaritan. This ancient story found in the Bible's New Testament has been retold and interpreted in various ways throughout history. The parable of the Good Samaritan begins with a question posed to Jesus by a lawyer. Who is my neighbor? In response, Jesus tells the story of a man who was traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho and was attacked by robbers. They beat him, took his belongings, and left him half dead on the side of the road. As he lay there, two religious leaders, a priest and a Levite, passed by without offering any assistance, presumably because they were concerned about ritual purity. However, a Samaritan, a member of a group despised by the Jews at the time, came upon the injured man. Despite their historical and cultural differences, the Samaritan felt intense empathy for the wounded traveler. He bandaged the man's wounds, poured oil and wine on them, and then took him to an inn where he cared for him throughout the night. The next day, the Samaritan even gave the innkeeper money to continue looking after the injured man, promising to return and cover any additional expenses. In this parable, the Samaritan's actions transcend mere sympathy or pity. They exemplify the profound connection to the suffering of another human being that intense empathy can bring. The Samaritan not only recognized the injured man's pain, but also took immediate and compassionate action to alleviate it, despite societal norms and prejudices. Intense empathy is not just an emotional experience, it's a key component of spiritual growth. It teaches compassion, deepens understanding, and fosters a sense of oneness with others. Through this gift, the spiritually gifted are able to experience the world in a more interconnected and holistic way. In the realm of the spiritually gifted, the world is not just a physical place. It is a canvas of colors unseen by the ordinary eye, a spectrum of energies that reveal the essence of all things. This is the fourth experience, the ability to sense and perceive the aura surrounding people or objects. For those with the gift of seeing auras, every person, every living creature, and even objects are enveloped in a halo of colors. These colors are not just visual effects, they are reflections of emotions, thoughts, and energies. Each hue tells a story, a narrative about the state of being of the entity it surrounds. This shouldn't be taken literally, it is more of a perception of the energy surrounding the object or person. Rudolf Steiner was an Austrian philosopher, mystic, and the founder of Anthroposophy, a spiritual movement that aimed to bridge the gap between the spiritual and material worlds. His contributions to the understanding of auras and the spiritual aspects of existence have left an indelible mark on the world of philosophy and mysticism. Born in 1861 in what is now Croatia, Steiner displayed a keen interest in the spiritual from a young age. He had the ability to see auras from a very early age, and this unique gift became the cornerstone of his philosophical and spiritual explorations. Steiner believed that auras were not merely a visual phenomenon, but a window into the inner workings of the soul and spirit. Steiner's philosophy emphasized the interconnectedness of all things and the idea that the material world was deeply intertwined with the spiritual. He argued that the physical world was a reflection of the spiritual world and that the two were inseparable. According to Steiner, the colors and energies that make up auras were a manifestation of the spiritual essence of an individual or object. In his seminal work, Theosophy, Steiner elaborated on his ideas about auras and the spiritual nature of reality. He proposed that auras were not static, but constantly changing and influenced by an individual's thoughts, emotions and spiritual development. 
Steiner believed that by studying auras, one could gain insights into a person's inner state, their past experiences, and even their potential future. Steiner's teachings on auras and the spiritual world also had practical applications. He developed a form of therapy known as anthroposophical medicine, which incorporated spiritual insights and the study of auras into the diagnosis and treatment of illnesses. This holistic approach to healing aimed to address not only the physical symptoms of a disease, but also its underlying spiritual and emotional causes. Moreover, Steiner's work extended beyond the realm of auras. He founded the Waldorf Education System, which emphasized a holistic approach to learning and the development of the whole child, taking into account their spiritual and emotional well-being alongside their intellectual growth. This educational philosophy has since gained worldwide recognition and has been adopted in schools across the globe. One of the key aspects of Steiner's philosophy was the idea that individuals could develop their spiritual faculties, including the ability to perceive auras through inner work and spiritual practices. He believed that by cultivating self-awareness, practicing meditation, and striving for moral and ethical growth, people could enhance their capacity to see and understand auras. This ability is a constant reminder of the interconnectedness of all things. It breaks down the illusion of separateness, revealing that at a deeper level, everything in the universe is connected through energy and light. It's a profound and humbling insight that shapes the way one sees the world and interacts with it. In the journey of the spiritually gifted, there comes a moment, often unexpected, when a sense of a greater purpose begins to unfold in their lives. It's as if a curtain is drawn back, revealing a path that they feel compelled to follow. This is the fifth strange experience, a strong sense of calling or mission, a phenomenon that transforms ordinary existence into a quest for deeper meaning and service. For those who experience this awakening, life takes on a new dimension. They often describe it as a moment of clarity, a sudden understanding that their life is meant for something more. This isn't just about ambition or personal success. It's a deep-seated realization that they are here to contribute to the world in a significant and spiritual way. This calling often leads to an intense search for meaning and truth. Individuals may find themselves drawn to various spiritual traditions, philosophies, or humanitarian causes. It's a quest not just for knowledge, but for wisdom and understanding about their role in the grand tapestry of life. In this journey, passion and purpose intersect. Activities that once seemed mundane now become charged with significance. Whether it's art, teaching, healing, activism, or any other endeavor, the spiritually gifted infuse their daily actions with a sense of mission, striving to make a positive impact in the world. Embracing a greater purpose is not without its challenges. It often involves stepping out of comfort zones, facing skepticism or misunderstanding from others, and dealing with the internal doubts and fears that arise when one chooses a path less traveled. Yet, these challenges are also opportunities for growth and deepening of one's spiritual journey. Despite the challenges, there is an immense joy and fulfillment in living a life aligned with a greater purpose. The spiritually gifted often find that in helping others in contributing to the greater good, they find a deeper sense of satisfaction and happiness than any material success could offer. It's important to note that this sense of purpose is not static. It evolves and grows as the individual progresses on their spiritual path. What starts as a vague sense of wanting to help may transform into a clear vision or life's work. It's a journey that unfolds in its own time, revealing its secrets step by step. This experience of a greater purpose is a reminder that we are all part of something larger than ourselves. It challenges the notion of a purely individualistic existence, offering a perspective that we are here not just for our own personal journey, but to contribute to the evolution and betterment of all. Now we arrive at the sixth experience, you see, in the heart of every spiritually gifted individual, there burns a relentless flame, a thirst for knowledge that seems to have no end. 
This experience is the insatiable desire to seek wisdom and the experience of unexplained knowledge that often accompanies those on a spiritual path. This quest often begins abruptly, like a dam breaking inside the mind. Questions about the universe, the nature of existence and the deeper meanings of life start to surface demanding attention. The world no longer seems simple or ordinary, it becomes a puzzle waiting to be solved, a mystery beckoning to be unraveled. This thirst for knowledge drives the spiritually gifted on a journey that spans across various domains of learning. From ancient philosophies to modern sciences, from mystical experiences to practical life skills, their quest for understanding knows no bounds. It's a journey that's as much about acquiring information as it is about self-discovery and inner growth. Along this journey, something extraordinary happens. These individuals often encounter moments of unexplained knowledge, sudden insights or understandings that arrive without any prior study or exposure. It's as if the information is downloaded into their consciousness, offering them glimpses of wisdom that are both profound and often transformative. The previously discussed philosopher Immanuel Kant's wisdom can also be applied here. Kant's thirst for knowledge led him to explore a wide range of topics, including metaphysics, epistemology, ethics, and aesthetics. He sought to unravel the mysteries of the universe and the human mind, and he did so with an unparalleled dedication to rigorous thinking and systematic analysis. His magnum opus, The Critique of Pure Reason, published in 1781, is a testament to his insatiable desire to seek wisdom. This unending quest for knowledge, however, can be overwhelming. Balancing the thirst for understanding with the practicalities of daily life becomes a crucial skill. Learning when to seek and when to pause, when to absorb and when to reflect, is part of the journey. As the spiritually gifted accumulate knowledge, they begin to connect the dots in unique and sometimes surprising ways. They find connections between seemingly unrelated fields, weaving together a fabric of understanding that offers new perspectives on life and existence. Now we turn our focus to the seventh strange experience, the sensation of feeling out of place. This experience, common among those with spiritual gifts, reflects the inner conflict of existing in a world that often seems disconnected from their deeper realities. For many spiritually gifted individuals, the sense of being different starts early in life. They may feel disconnected from their peers, find little interest in conventional pursuits, or feel overwhelmed by the superficiality of societal norms. This sense of not belonging can be both isolating and enlightening, marking the beginning of a deeper quest for belonging and understanding. In response to this feeling of alienation, there's often a search for like-minded souls, those who share a similar depth of thought and feeling. This search can be a journey in itself, leading to the exploration of various spiritual communities, philosophies or creative expressions where they might find resonance and a sense of kinship. Faced with a sense of disconnection from the outside world, many spiritually gifted individuals turn inwards, creating a sanctuary within their minds and hearts. Here, in the realms of thought, imagination and spirituality, they find solace and a sense of belonging that the external world might not provide. This feeling of being out of place can be a double-edged sword. On one side, it fosters a unique perspective, encouraging deep introspection and creative expression. On the other, it can lead to feelings of loneliness and misunderstanding, challenging one's ability to connect with the world and others. Yet. This sense of disconnection is often what drives the spiritually gifted to become bridges between the mundane and the mystical. Through their insights, creativity and empathy, they provide a link between the seen and the unseen, the ordinary and the extraordinary, helping others to see the world in a different light. Feeling out of place ultimately offers a unique gift, the gift of perspective. It allows the spiritually gifted to observe the world from the fringes, to question norms, and to challenge conventional beliefs. This perspective is vital in bringing about change and deeper understanding in the world. The eighth strange experience is one of the most important ones, a feeling of timelessness. 
this sensation transcends the conventional understanding of time, offering a glimpse into an existence where the past, present and future merge into a singular eternal moment. For the spiritually gifted, moments of deep connection, meditation or creative flow can lead to an experience where time seems to stand still. In these moments, the usual ticking of the clock loses its hold, giving way to a sense of eternity in the now. It's as if they step outside the bounds of chronological time, experiencing life from a timeless perspective. This sense of timelessness is more than an escape from the mundane, it's an immersion into the eternal now. Here, every moment is complete in itself, rich with potential and depth. It's an experience where one is fully present, undistracted by past regrets or future anxieties, a state that many spiritual traditions strive to achieve. In these timeless states, insights that might otherwise take years to unfold can emerge in an instant. The spiritually gifted often report profound realizations, creative inspirations, or deep emotional healing occurring in these moments, insights that shape their understanding of life and existence. One of the challenges for those who experience timelessness is returning to the regular flow of time. After touching this eternal space, mundane tasks and routines can feel jarring or trivial. Balancing the timeless with the timely becomes a crucial skill for those walking a spiritual path. The gift of timelessness offers a unique perspective on life. It's a reminder that beneath the surface of our day-to-day -day existence lies a deeper, more fluid reality. It challenges the notion that life is a linear journey, proposing instead that it's a rich tapestry of moments, each holding the potential for depth and transformation. In this journey, the strange and wonderful are not anomalies. They are signposts, guiding us towards a deeper, more connected way of being. They remind us that beyond the physical, within and around us, lies a world rich with spiritual significance, waiting to be explored and experienced. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment sharing your experiences. Thanks for watching.